My formative years were through the war, which of course coloured every aspect of your life. Remembering all this, going out in the morning with other children to collect shrapnel, which is fragments of bomb casing, and also burnt out incendiary bombs. When I grew up, we didn't have computers, photocopiers, fax machines, the internet, mobile phones. We didn't even have television when I was young. That mainly began to happen at the time of the coronation. So in my lifetime, I have seen amazing changes and I've, I've embraced these changes. I love them. I found that my computer skills have been wonderful. They've enabled me to have a useful life. I feel needed. I feel I'm contributing. And um, I'm proud of it. I wish I could still work full time because I do have useful skills, which, which actually I now put to the, use, to the service of the community. The main thing that has happened to me is that I found a self-confidence I never had. Through the work I'm able to do for the charities and for the synagogue, I've discovered that I am a useful person that I'm not second best, that I've got a contribution to make and I'm making it. And I get so much appreciation. I get so much respect. I am made to feel that I'm a valued member of the community. And this is, means everything to me. It's a feeling I never had when I was young. It's new. And I'm a different person to the one I was 20 years ago. I'm a much more useful person than I was 20 years ago. There's now so many opportunities. If you don't get to university, so what? Together with my husband, actually, we both did the Open University in our 50s. And it opened doors. It was wonderful. And I'm now able to, to do things that I never thought possible. Work to your strengths. Don't worry. Don't look at what others are doing. Just find out what you are doing, what you feel you can be comfortable with, and work to that. You don't have to live in the biggest house, in the poshest area, and you don't have to have the flashiest car. These things are not important. Work out what are your strengths, what is important to you and work to that and don't let anybody else tell you what you should be doing and that i think is my message